How you doing good? 30. Well, I'm just gonna get a couple. Dude, I'm a there strong. You have it. No, that was a good Let's effort. A strong Three. effort. Some days I. Are you gonna throw up now? Hey guys, I'm Noah Gregson. Welcome to my show, Get to Know M, presented by Superior Essex. During this series, I'm bringing along different motorsports guests within the industry to get to know M, kind of learn more about them. Hopefully you guys can too. Today, I'm joined by Corey Supershoe LaJoy, NASCAR Cup Series driver. How are you doing today, Corey? Doing great, Noah. Can't wait to get to know him. We're gonna know, get to know him. We're gonna get to get know to know all about Corey. Him. Know all about him. You Do know where we're at right now? We are in the joy of fitness right now. At the joy of seating. Do you know what's you know what's in a gym? You know how you get those? I, I wear big sleeve shirts to cover up these these guns because I don't want to intimidate you, you know? But you gotta have a concealed permit if you wanna keep those guns concealed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I've been uh, trying to grow out my beard to look like you. Uh, you're still a little ways off. This friend. is three months in now. Is Looks... it? That's your quarantine beard? Yeah. That That's his quarantine beard? Nah, this is like a week probably. Oh, okay, I was about to feel bad for you. I was about to go get some like easy grow out of the, the, easy grow. the janitor closet and lather it on. So give me a timeline of your racing career. Where'd you start up until the present? It's a long, long timeline. So naturally, my dad was a two-time Xfinity Series champion. So as soon as I was old enough to reach the pedals, I was stuck on a go-kart. Um, there's the Field Filler Fairgrounds right out back. Uh, I'm sure everybody that's going to be watching this either has seen it or have heard about it. If you haven't, go check out Field Filler Fairgrounds on YouTube. All right, these these crispies right here, these will get you. So you don't try to get them. All right. <laughs> a lot of good fun. That's where I learned to cut my teeth, and then just progressed through Bandoleros, Legends cars, late models, k and Arca, the kind of the natural NASCAR progression. It was kind of with well, lots of bumps and roads in between, but um, ultimately um, got in a decent uh, Xfinity car with JGL, uh, and then that kind of got the ball rolling back on the NASCAR side because I went from crew chief in a K&N car for David Mayhew when you were out there running for Jefferson Pitts, so that was kind of where I got to know a U. Know a U. Uh, so that was, uh, that was an interesting little season of life, but to go from there, able to get a partner like you, Theory, to get me back in the fold, and then Ron Devine wanted me to drive his cup car, got in the garage, and then a couple years later, now we're uh, getting a decent foothold, trying to keep getting better every week. What is stacking pennies? Stacking pennies. What is, what is stacking pennies? So that's the kind of the mantra that we, uh, almost our race team kind of lives by because when you're running with a underfunded team uh, and the, the opportunities to have big days of competing for wins or top fives aren't very often, right? So you gotta figure out what the small victories are, whether that's not having any speeding penalties, beating a couple cars that you shouldn't, your car drives good. You know, there's always some victories you can find throughout the course of the weekend if you look hard enough and actually work towards it. Um, so every time that we feel get, we had a good day, we didn't make any mistakes, that's a penny on the stack. And eventually if you stack enough pennies, then you might be able to buy something nice. When we race how, we, how we're supposed to know we, know we can race, and we try to stack the small victories on top, that's ultimately what stacking pennies mantra is all about. Are you at a nickel yet or a dollar? No, not a, a few we're pennies. We're still pennies. Now we can, we're, we've been stacking a decent amount of pennies the last, uh, last couple weeks. It's been a lot of fun. We actually, my buddy Greg, uh, off axis, he painted a badass stacking pennies helmet. I don't know if anybody's seen that. It's been on my Instagram. So go check out. Uh, I'm really owning the stacking pennies. Even you, listeners, you can stack pennies in your own life. That's right. Stack them as high as you can. And then so, if, and if it's too high to reach, then you start another stack. Then you have two stacks of pennies. That's a two stacks. So. My first question was going to be, why do you throw up after every single... Well, not. I think you've progressed past the throwing up stage. Are you just that excited that you just want? That you just threw up after every win? Well, it's... So, the reason why I throw up, I don't know what the reason is, but 
I've kind of come to a conclusion that, you know when you're like fourth, fifth grade and they tell you you gotta do the mile test in PE yeah. and you're out there and you're, you get about three quarters of the way through and you think you can go faster but you didn't pace yourself enough and yeah. then you up you're jump. a little worn out, yeah. you, you throw up. So when I get out of the car or the truck, I've been doing better. I haven't thrown up this year at all at Daytona or Bristol, but um, really it just comes to, down to pacing myself. I get out, I'm so energetic, I'm so pumped up. There's nothing, I mean, there's no feeling like winning a race, no matter if it's in a go-kart or if it's in, in the Cup Series or yeah. Formula, no matter what motorsport, when you win a race, you're, you're pumped up Absolutely. and I, I try to bring that energy. So I get out, climb the fence, and I guess I just don't take my time and I get down and guys are, Pick me up, give me hugs, shake me around, and I don't know if I'm breathing in the smoke from the burnouts and whatnot too, but don't yeah, try to make it, it just, something it doesn't mix. Well. Now what does a pre-race meal look like? Does it taste better going down the first time or back up the second time? I heard that if you eat bananas, they taste just as good going down as they do coming up. That's a fun fact. Fun fact. I don't know if they do. If but. you feel like you're gonna throw up, eat a banana. That's right. At least right. it's tasty on the way back up. That's right, that's right. Another, so, another question I, I had. Another question? I got the questions here now, pal. All right, all right. I'm the captain now. So, look at me. I, I don't think that it's coincidence that you start the year with a win, you win Bristol, and performance overall is noticeably better. And I do think that, you know, people can say the ebbs and flows of equipment, but there's also things that you can do as a driver to help mentally focus and prepare better. Definitely, I think. Spending last year getting to know the number nine team at Junior Motorsports has Noah, been Noah, I'm the team. get to Noah M. It's been one of those things where just going to the racetrack, I have I have full on confidence in what I need to do. I'm not going to the track anymore now that I've had a year of experience under my belt. I'm not going to the track laying in bed the night before thinking, okay, is there a bump here? What's this bump going to feel like? People say there's a bump or when I go around the top, how is it supposed to feel? Yeah. I have that experience and, and it can only grow from here, but I feel like my confidence is up a lot more this year. I'm, I can focus on the smaller things. What is your favorite racetrack and why? Naturally, I think everybody would say Bristol's up there, Darlington's up there. Martinsville uh, was one of the tougher tracks I've had to figure out in my career just because I never raced a truck or late model there. My first experience there was a cup car. and. When you try to jump into the Cup Series, that's the deep end of the pool. Uh, so the first couple of times I struggled, but once you figure out the way the, as you said, the way the race flows, uh, and just how to attack Martinsville, uh, once once you get it, it's a lot of fun. So I, right now, I think probably Martinsville is one of my favorite tracks. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? A lot. If you could chuck wood. I don't even know what a woodchuck is. What is a woodchuck? Have you not seen the Geico commercials where they're chucking guys wood into the pond? No, I, I use nationwide insurance. Nice. Nice. You should, I mean, it's my favorite commercial. If you could race any car at any racetrack, what would you race and where? I guess I can say that no matter if I'm on iRacing for an hour or like seven hours, I always end up driving a F1 car at Watkins Glen. Yep. I just, that's just the most fun thing for me to do. Fast, yeah. super fast. Yeah, and it's like it's edgy and it's hard and it's it's fun, and you're like you said, you're hauling ass. So I would probably say an F1 car, Watkins Glen. What question you got for me? It's not on my card. I just kept seeing on your Instagram during the quarantine that you were taking up this 200 push-up. Was it a day? No, challenge? I was doing. I over uh, the winter break, yeah. I would do 100 push-ups a day. Okay. Not at once, but I went from doing 10 to 15 yeah. at once, right. my max, to getting up to 40 or 50 at one time. That's good. Which? Who do you think can win a push-up competition? You or me, right now? You. Why'd you look at my, my biceps when you- Because you're a strong dude, like you. Do, do we wanna knock out you a You have a gym company? here. I don't have a gym. That's fair. I, I so have a, wanna, you don't wanna, I have a you bike. Don't wanna, you don't wanna take up the push-up competition? No. All right. Three, two, one. One, three, four, six, seven, eight. 
How you doing good? 30. Well, I'm just gonna get a couple more. Dude, I almost fell off. It. No, that was a good Let's effort. See. A strong Sorry. effort. Some days I... Are you gonna throw up now? <laughs> Go follow Corey LaJoy on Instagram, Twitter, Tinder, Facebook. Snapchat, whatever Don't you wanna, whatever you wanna do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, Subscribe to No Gregson on YouTube, and we'll be back with more. Get to know him, presented by Superior Essex. It's been great.